guys, I'm Original Asherella and I am skipping all the usual intro stuff today because I am feeling some type of way. I just recently, and it is uploading in the other room on my YouTube channel as I speak, started a segment on my channel called Onion Tea. If you've watched any of the recent videos, you know that I have a long time formed opinion of Onision who I like to call Onion Man, and all of the toxic behavior that he has exhibited over the years and all of these allegations with the Chris Hansen investigation. Like, I personally am so excited that Onion Man and Kai are finally facing consequences for their actions. Now, this is the last time in any of these videos that I'm gonna say this because I don't feel like I need to defend why I am making these videos. My opinion was formed years ago. Everything that's coming out now has just reinforced it and not enough people can be talking about this. Like we do not need to let this get forgotten about until there are some consequences for Greg and Kai. We never need to let the victims be forgotten about. Now, that being said, this is technically episode two of Onion Tea and I wasn't planning on filming another video for a couple of days but today, just today, Onion Man released, I don't know if he recorded them today, but he uploaded to YouTube today a series of nine different videos, basically victim shaming all of the girls that have came out and spoke against him, trying to make excuses for like what he did or like trying to make it okay or minimize all of these allegations against him. And then the kicker is that he claims that Kai has dumped him. And when you're married in a relationship of several years, it is not getting dumped, Onion Man. He, Kai, is leaving your ass, okay? So I could feel my blood pressure rising as I was watching these videos. Onision Onion Man, he claims that he has never watched any of the Chris Hansen videos, but coincidentally enough, in these videos, he goes through and basically tries to make an excuse. Like, he retells stories that Shiloh and Billy both have told, or both, you know, talked about on Chris Hansen, and for him to have not seen these episodes of Chris Hansen, have a seat with Chris Hansen with the girls on it. It is very coincidental that he addresses almost every single allegation in each episode by especially Shiloh and Billy. As far as Shiloh goes, she went on uh, a, a live stream and she said horrible things about me. I'm not sure what she said because I didn't watch it. Um, he retells these stories like he's just telling it for like our general information and he tries to make an excuse and normalize some of this behavior. It was infuriating. Not only did Onion Man go through and basically through these stories address each and every allegation Shiloh and Billy had made against him on Chris Hansen, he doesn't even know if Vermont is a state or a city. So I, I did that with uh, Billy, and Billy would continuously do illegal drugs because she was in, I think, Vermont um, or Virginia or something. I don't know. She was in a state, Vermont, isn't that a city? And she makes an excuse for being angry at her for smoking weed when she is on the other side of the country, totally away from he and Kai because they have kids and they don't want drug people around their kids weed is barely illegal and that is the biggest bunch of bullshit like do you think anybody believes that greg not only does he go through and basically slander shiloh and if shiloh sees this video i think she would probably have a pretty good case of slander because it's just greg's like opinion and i am pretty certain that a lot of the things he said about Shiloh is, are just outright lies. Um, one of the pathological lies was her faking an accident the moment we met, basically. She's he makes allegations against her that she was, she was the manipulative one in the relationship, and it's like, no, no, 
She was a child when you got into the relationship with her. You were a full-grown man who had been in the military, but he tries to act like she was the manipulative one in the situation when she was just a child. She was 16, 17. It's like disgusting. And then he talks about how after they broke up one time, he just filmed himself crying. Because like he didn't know what else to do and he wanted to see, he wanted people to see that he was hurting. And it's like normal people don't have to show evidence that they have feelings. You're, he's a sociopath and that just further confirms it. It's like most people don't feel the need to, you know, have evidence of them showing human emotion. He's an idiot, first of all, but also a narcissistic sociopath. I was raging when he's talking about these girls and addressing the allegations they made against him that he hadn't even watched. That is not a motherfucking coincidence, Onion Man. While he is making all these allegations against Shiloh, he encourages people to look up his old videos and old content wonder why because he's trying to make a buck off of their emotional suffering music video that i dedicated to just how many times she lied to me um if you look up onisi on her lies you might find that music video he does go in to their relationship with sarah in the video also and he tries to manipulate everything into like Sarah really wanted to be with Kai, but Kai really didn't want to be with Sarah. And like, oh, like, go figure. November or something like that, uh, Sarah started indicating that she would be interested in uh, being with Kai. She actually, like, really pushed hard to try and kiss Kai. Oh my goodness, I am so angry that, like, he tries to push the whole situation with Sarah on to Sarah. Like, she forced them into a sexual relationship with her. Oh my god! Like, I, like who else is with me? Who else is like, seriously, like, I might burst into tears. I'm so frustrated and so angry by this. Like, that is not okay, Onion. She's a child. A child that was in your care, that was emotionally vulnerable, and you and your piece of trash husband took advantage of her. Don't even try and act like Sarah manipulated the two of you, the two biggest manipulators on YouTube, into a relationship with her. At one point, he, when he is talking about Sarah and how, you know, she really pushed this relationship onto he and Kai, and he thought, well, I guess she really, you know, loves Kai. So I campaigned for Sarah with Kai. Um, I, I was started campaigning for Sarah. You don't campaign for like a partner in life. You campaign for a mayor. You campaign for a presidential candidate. You do not treat your relationships like politics, but like just the fact that he used the word campaign for Sarah, like to Kai, just it grosses me out and infuriates me at the same time. So is it. He goes into this spiel in one of the last videos about how he's never monitored any of the girls or like what they're doing or what they're saying. But the only, and then he tries to insinuate that not only Billy wanted to do drugs, but also Shiloh wanted to do drugs. And he says that he's never monitored what any of them have done or what Kai has done. When we have evidence to the contrary of that. He also addresses just about every allegation Sarah made against he and Kai in these videos also. 
don't tell me that you haven't watched Chris Hansen Onion. Like, we know you better than that at this point. He's trying to put the blame on everybody but him. He is totally, like, victim blaming and victim shaming in this video. I cannot wait until he gets to see the inside of a jail cell or a prison cell. Like, they're not going to like you in prison, Onion. Like, you're going to have a rough time in there. You know, he admits to asking Sarah to post a video that said there was nothing going on between them. Now, why would you need to ask someone to do that? Mm -hmm. I, I don't need to ask anybody to post a video saying that I haven't pressured them into doing anything. Like, have you? Probably not. Um, when this happened, I said, you know, Sarah, I, I text her and I said, hey, can you say some nice things about... He talks about how he wanted to have, like, the perfect polyamorous relationship with Kai and Billy and that, you know, he learned how to be a massage therapist and the whole massage thing with Billy happened and he learned that from his mom. Like, ooh, you have mommy issues, Onion Man, both. But what is one of the most infuriating things about the way Onion Man, you know, just conducts himself out in the world is that he genuinely believes that he is convincing. These videos, he's like, oh, well, why was we, like, and it's like, he's trying to like, you know, uh, well, uh, you know, I thought it was like, what? You know, like, he does all this like, oh, I thought it was weird at the time, and like, I just seemed off, but yet blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you, you're you not believable. You, you, you're not convincing to us, Onion Man. And all of that being said, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that he says that Kai says if he talks about any of this stuff publicly, that Kai is going to leave him. Uh, apparently I'm being uh, left. Um. And here he is posting nine separate videos talking all about this. Now, if you were very interested or really interested in keeping your spouse, why would you do the one thing that they express, ask you not to do? And I don't know if Kai it has left him before he started filming these videos because of other things he said or if he's filming these videos in the anticipation of Kai leaving him but either way I think it is a freaking manipulation tactic do I think Kai is really leaving Onion Man? No I do not think Kai is really leaving Onion Man I think it is a freaking ploy that they are trying to use to get some sympathy for Kai and like oh this situation is tearing them apart as a couple. It's a manipulation tactic. I guarantee you they will not get divorced. I most definitely think that they are still together. They've tried this BS before. And you know, if I were Kai, I would absolutely be out the door. But she is just as big of a predator and groomer as Onion Man. They are like the predatory dynamic duo like they'll they'll never leave each other until they're forced apart in separate jail sales so my personal opinion hell no kai is not really leaving onion man like you've got to be crazy to even believe that but i guess we will sit back and see over the next few days this was officially my second episode of Onion Tea. This was a very impromptu video. I hadn't planned on filming a video for a couple more days, but Onion dropped a bomb on me and uploaded all of these videos, and there was no way in hell I was not going to react and respond and give my personal opinion on them. Like I said, he, like, it makes me so mad because he is so, like, demeaning toward Shiloh and Billy and Sarah and the other girls and it's like how can you be such a manipulative person how can you take somebody's feelings so for granted and then twist them for your own personal gain 
I don't know. I hate Onion Man. I'm sorry to get a little bit emotional. I'm not going to do that again. But make sure you check me out on all my socials. Hit the subscribe button. Remember, every time a new person hits the subscribe button on this video, a YouTuber named Original Asherella has an improvement in her self-esteem. For no extra cost and very little extra effort, you can hit the notification bell, and it will improve her standings in the YouTube algorithm. Don't delay. Do it today. <laughs> That's all, guys. Um, sorry for getting ranty and getting emotional, but always tap in, never tap out, and keep on onion slaying like a saiyan.